WIKIPEDIA's co-creator has said left-wing activists have ensured the online encyclopedia provides an establishment view of the truth. Larry Sanger, 53, says he can no longer trust the website he created in an interview with online blog Unheard. He co-founded the online encyclopedia in 2001 with Jimmy Wales but insists the website no longer adheres to its original commitment to neutrality. When asked by Unheard's Freddie Say as if you can trust Wikipedia, Sanger replied, you can trust it to give a reliably establishment point of view on pretty much everything. The American philosopher added, can you trust it to give you the truth? Well, that depends on what you think the truth is. Sanger said the changes to neutrality on Wikipedia's pages have been apparent for the last five years. According to Mr. Sanger, this includes restrictions on using right-leaning news sources, such as the Daily Mail or Fox News, as sources in Wikipedia posts. He claimed that Wikipedia seems to assume that there is only one legitimate defensible version of the truth on any controversial question. That's not how Wikipedia used to be. Mr. Sanger added, If you want to have anything remotely resembling the Republican point of view about Biden, you're not going to get it from the article. Voices are literally being silenced, Mr. Sanger opined. There are even examples of difficulties for users in the United Kingdom. Christopher Snowden, head of lifestyle economics at the Institute of Economic Affairs in London, took to Twitter to vent his frustrations with Wikipedia yesterday. The IEA's Wikipedia page has been vandalized beyond belief and anyone who tries to correct it seems to get banned. What a farce this site has become, he told his followers. Snowden was particularly infuriated by the description given on the IEA's Wikipedia page that the educational charity was right-wing and claimed that site's been taken over by activists. He said, it's not right-wing, it doesn't deny climate change, it's not associated with the new right, whatever that is, it doesn't call for the abolition of the NHS, it doesn't deny tobacco funding and it doesn't offer cash for access. Apart from that, spot on, Snowden quipped. Thank <laughs> you.